What's up, guys? It's in Little Power Booty. Um, this week's video is kind of all over the place, so I wanted to pop in and kind of explain or like talk through it with you. I've done this before. I've gotten a lot of feedback that people actually really like this because it like tells the story and like goes in and out. So that's what we're doing today. So we started the weekend vlog with me working at home on Friday. The kids had their last day of school on Friday. So they were really excited for me to pick them up from both of their schools. So I did that and then I just worked at home Friday on what I think went out to dinner, but I kind of walked you through what's going on with our house and a huge remodel that we're about to embark on. Hopefully soon, we're just waiting on a contract, so that's what happened on Friday. Hi guys, welcome to the weekend. It is Friday and not only is it Friday, it is June 14th, the last day of school for the boys. I'm really excited. I do not want to be thinking about homework and reading logs and turning things in and missing bells and you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, they are doing a summer camp this summer. Get this from Costco. Whether you eat um, vegan, vegetarian or not, they're so good. They're called Paleo Bites and they're bite-sized organic clusters made with almonds, honey, coconut, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds. They're like this, they're so good. They're a great little like, pick me up. Um, it's also Father's Day this weekend. This is what we got him. It's nice, it's really nice, isn't it? It's a Weber, apparently Webers are good. These are tomatoes. They are Roma tomatoes. I just planted them recently and they're kind of, you know, well, wilting. So we gotta take better care of these guys. This is all lettuce, different kinds of lettuce, bib lettuce, romaine lettuce, spring lettuce, all this is lettuce. Whoa guys, this, this is cilantro that's growing out of control. Obviously this is the cilantro leaves, but I think this is like, weeds or something on top and I need to cut them down. But I need to get little um, little spring onion, and then I have sweet basil, mint, and then Greek oregano. These are thriving, thriving. I have more lettuce over here because um, we eat a lot of vegetables in case you're wondering. This is Swiss chard. Look how beautiful this is. So beautiful, our neighbor gave us this. Yellow bell pepper, it is flowering, which is a good sign and look at all these little buds up here and then here's the little bell peppers that are forming so excited about that this is another uh, bell pepper um, this is a jalapeno which is also flowering so that's beautiful more lettuce because I told you you know we eat a lot of plants here in this house these are little baby cherry tomatoes and look at look at we already got these guys coming so that is the plant updates um, Jerk built me those two planter boxes for Mother's Day. I love them, they're great. Took a lot of time to put dirt in them, but they're thriving. I haven't vlogged in a couple weeks, cause to be honest, we were finishing up school and it's been really busy. May was like a very busy month, but we um, officially, unofficially, oh God, wind. Trayson, chill. We officially, but not yet until the contract signed, um, have secured a contractor to do our kitchen renovation. Now, I am going to tell you this, it is not just a kitchen renovation because we are redoing this entire first floor, except the back room because we did that on our own, but literally this entire first floor. So, um, yes, it is gonna be vlogged. Yes, I'm gonna be taking tons of before and after photos and it's going to be also incorporated into my Instagram like photos, so lots of house updates. I'm just gonna give you a little quick overall view of what we're doing to this kitchen. It's been long awaited. We bought this house and it was a grandma house and basically we've been redoing everything, everything, everything ourselves. We've like flipped this house ourselves. So what we are doing here is I'll walk you through it. You ready? Okay. Here's our kitchen. It has a very small, you know, area right there. These floors are disgusting all times, even when they're clean, okay? We are blowing out this wall right here. 
I can't point or I'll focus on my wall finger, but we're blowing out this wall right here. This wall will be gone. We are extending our kitchen into here. Everything is gonna be here to here and all the way back to like this window right here. So fridge, cabinets all around, sink, dishwasher. In between this window and this window will be our oven. So it'll be like in between here, obviously this wall will be gone. We're gonna have a hood that goes up. Pretty excited about that. Um, cabinets, you know, all the way here. And then like I said, it's gonna stop at this window. And then we are gonna have a huge, huge island. I think it's basically gonna be like right here. It's gonna sit like, I think five or six. Super, super stoked about that. Um, it's gonna be beautiful, okay? Then with this room, we are, um, you know, gonna do something with it. <laughs> it's so like nothing right now, but it's just, you know, real life. We are opening these two walls up as much as we can without having to pay a large sum of money to redo the structure. And what I mean by this is this beam that's holding this wall right up here is a structural, I don't even know if that's word, um, it holds our effing house together, right? It's a big beam. And some people with lots of money will be like, open everything up, we'll pay for it. We are not <laughs> in that mindset. We can't afford to like, literally, as much as I want, I want this entire first floor open, but that's not gonna happen. So, we are opening these walls up as much as we can. Then, this closet right here, when you walk in, this is our coat closet and like, you know, random shoes and shit closet. We are cutting this down to basically about maybe here. And this will be um, our cleaning closet. So like vacuum, broom, all that kind of stuff. Basically, everything in this closet, which is like, you know, not much, will go into this small closet right here. So that we're opening this whole wall up as much as possible. All these floors will be new. We're gonna do new wood floors. Um, we thought about doing tile. I didn't wanna do the two different kinds of flooring everywhere. I'd rather get like rugs and kind of make it different, like different areas. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're really excited. It's going to be a long process. This will all be a a war zone, but I'm gonna be sharing that war zone with you. I'm very excited. Um, like I said, we still have to sign a contract and everything, so I don't really know when our start date is and how long it's gonna take either. I don't know this. We've been getting quotes for years, months now, um, because we knew that this was something like we just couldn't do ourselves in a short amount of time, right? I mean, we've done everything to our house ourselves, except the patio in the back. It's taken a long time. It's um, cheaper to do it, you know, yourself, but we both work jobs, have businesses, we have kids, and we just don't have time to do that. So um, we are paying for someone to do it faster and professionally. All right, so now that I rambled for a very long time, I need to finish working and clean up this house before my mom and Tom get here and they don't think we like, live like pigs. Even though I'm pretty sure they think we do. Hey, Sky. Come here. How was your last day of school? Good. What grade are you in now? Fifth grade. No. Kindergarten. Yeah. And how did you become a kindergartner today? By walking through the doors. By walking through the doors? Uh. I love you. Your okay. birthday soon. <laughs> oh, it's a birthday book. So soon. And then on Saturday, Skylar had his first birthday party for non-family members and he was super excited for them. They went to a karate place and they did all these kind of like moves and stuff and he really liked going. There was um, a handful of people from his class there so he was like super excited and he did really well. I was really happy for him and I went and you know monitored because he's only five. So he did that. After that, we just spent the rest of the day at home with the boys and I asked Jarek to give me a haircut. Now, all I needed him to do was basically like 
shave this back down do like something lower because it was the same as this and it was just looking a little like scraggly and so uh it's pretty comical because we have been we had a couple drinks and um i'm not very good at like letting him do that kind of stuff currently editing right now while we're outside just living our best life i brought this outside because i think it needs some outside love you see how it's like falling apart out there i think it needs some outside love what are you doing down there i told them we need to practice the grill and prep for tomorrow tomorrow we're having a father's day dinner on the grill on the patio i'm just editing the vlog for this weekend so i think he's inside <laughs> She's like, what? Dog was worth it. Look at this. Couch. Look at this. I don't know. Ah. I'm not so sure. All right, all right, all right. This is the first time I'm having Jared cut my hair. I'm just gonna cut like. Come on, keep going. What do you think? Honor to. There we go. There we go. All right, tell me where to go. Put these in the mix. <laughs> All right, Beach. You know what to do? No. What? I'm gonna look down and you just like shave it up to like here. I like have flakes. Yes, okay, shut up. You have flakes too. Like military cut. It's a two, it's nothing. All right. Just go. It's a lot more than you thought. Look down. Just go! I've literally shaved my entire head. It doesn't bother me. You can shave everything off and I don't care. Whoa, you got a lot of hair. Yes, Rowan! Stop dancing. Oh, sorry. Stop dancing. I'm not. I don't think it's enough. So a one or a two didn't do anything. <gasps> my earring! Whoa, Come sorry. on! Chill, chill. Oh my you. god. Do you have me though? Do you? Uh-uh. I don't trust you at this part. What? Dude, I just got these peers. Phone up right here. Who needs a real mirror when you just have a phone and a camera? <laughs> this is why hair literally doesn't even matter to me anymore. Are you going to be able to line me up okay on the back? You got me? What am I going to do with this little guy? Cut him off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Allison, you're probably gonna watch this and be like, Chelsea, what did you guys do? What's my back look like, Paige? So good. <laughs> yeah, right. I get fired already. <laughs> no. No. Because you almost chopped my freshly new ear piercing off. I'm the lions Alright, can you take this and line me up? Yep. Okay. Just so we're clear, <laughs> you want like a lot like me, right? Yeah, like you do. Like a boy. 
Ooh, make me look like a boy. No doubt. That's okay. I'm sure it's fine, babe. Thank you. Look at that! Jared, look at that! Look how much hair has grown in like six weeks! Alright, I think we're gonna close it out for tonight. See you in the morning! Happy Father's Day tomorrow! Next up was Sunday, and Sunday was Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to you a few days ago. If you are a father, um, we started off by Trayson going to the second day of soccer tryouts. So Trayson was trying out for a travel soccer group and it was freaking cold on Saturday when he tried out at nine in the morning. And then it rained all morning on Sunday when he tried out. But nevertheless, he made it. He's really excited. We're really excited, very proud of him because he was very nervous about doing something that no one in, uh, that he played soccer with on his like rec team was doing. So he was nervous, but we're really proud of him for that. So super excited for that. After that, we came home, cleaned the house, you know, got everything ready, and we were having um, Jarek's family over for Father's Day. So, um, yeah, just a little bit of that. The kids made uh, Grampy get on the trampoline and bounce around with him, and we just, like, hung out. And then Trayson ended up having a sleepover with our neighbor that night, so they were really excited about that. Tired. <laughs> oh, you tricked me. You tricked me. Studio, studio. You're gonna be on YouTube. You have know, a fun day? Mm -hmm. Good Father's Day? Mm -hmm. I think Daddy liked his mm -hmm. tie. I thought that was really cute. He could use good. his coupon, Sam. He could. For what? A hug? Mm, yeah, the hug. The, so I did him a special lunch. It's where I make lunch for him, oh. and me and him just eat lunch together. And also did watch TV with him and also Does he get to pick games. the show? Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you come up with the ideas or did Daddy? You, or did your teacher? So um, you could come up with ideas. There's ones where it would say stuff like, I'll wash the car for you. Oh. Get an undisturbed nap. I know he doesn't nap really. Oh, he naps all right. Where are you going? I thought you were hanging out with us. Oh, JD girl, you wanted to? Sleep over with you, oh, buddy. So like... We're having it at our house, baby. Oh. All right, we're gonna end the night. <gasps> end the night. End, end the Father's Day shenanigans. We're gonna have a sleepover. Can we just stop what taking do you guys pictures? say? Hey, I'm Thank ending you. the vlog. I'm ending the video. You say bye. Bye. See you later, alligator. Yeah, I'm a kitty cat. Yeah, I'm a kitty cat. Gotta go. Bye.